Are you preparing to move to the Fort Walton Beach, Florida area and you want to know more information to help you be more comfortable with the transition, whether you're familiar with the area or not, you just want to uh, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Well, today I'm going to talk about a few things that would involve moving into Fort Walton Beach, Florida. So stick around. <laughs> I'm Stephanie Bueno with the Whittemore Group at LPT Realty here in the Destin for Walton Beach area. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell just so you're notified every time that we upload a new video so you don't miss out on all the cool information that we give you about this area. Uh, we do have a lot of people that reach out to us because they're getting ready to move here or they want to invest in property here or just have general questions before making that decision to purchase here. Uh, so if you are looking to make a move or just want some um, general questions answered, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a phone call, text, or email so we can get, help you get started on the big purchase process or your smooth transition here to the area. So moving to Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Uh, so a few things to talk about. Uh, first, let's talk about housing. There are a variety of housing options in the area. Um, the homes here, there's there's homes that were built in as, uh, as early as the late 40s, I believe, maybe longer. Um, and of course, there's a lot of new construction as well. So if you're looking for something newer, um, there's tons available out there. Or if you're okay with an older home that's um, been updated or maybe needs some work because you don't mind doing some of your own upgrades, uh, plenty of that around as well. Um, as far as pricing, um, there's, you know, everyone has different budgets. So there's pricing, um, different pricings too. There's uh, homes that can be as low as the, the lower 200s, maybe less if it's a town home and, or maybe something that needs work. And then of course you have homes that go well into the million dollar range, especially those ones that are, are waterfront or maybe have, um, you know, uh, the swing pool or your own boat dock with a boat lift, uh, all the extras like that. Uh, of course, it's going to bring the, the value of the property up. Um, so there's a home out there for everyone's budget. <laughs> there's something out there for everyone. Um, so if you are also looking for a, a neighborhood that has neighborhood parks, there are several of those as well. Um, I would say the most popular neighborhood park in the Fort Walton Beach area is Ferry Park. Um, Ferry Park is huge. <laughs> there's a, a nice little walking trail. There's basketball courts, tennis court. Um, there's a multi-purpose sports field. Uh, there's playground, of course, picnic areas and restrooms. Um, there's disc golf as well. <laughs> so Ferry Park includes all of the above. Um, it's a great place to get out on a, on a nice day in the neighborhood. Um, but again, there are several parks around Fort Walton Beach. So if that's something that you prefer to have close by within walking distance from your home, uh, feel free to reach out to us to help you narrow down those, those areas, um, just in case you might be looking on other websites that may not disclose uh, the, the neighborhood parks, if there is even any around that's walking distance from a property that you might be interested in. So we can definitely look into that for you. Um, or if you're more curious about public parks, there's a few good ones too. There's um, Liza Jackson Park over there on Miracle Street Parkway. Um, it's right on the Santa Rosa Sound and there's a dog beach there as well. I go there pretty often uh, with, with my pups. So there's also um, uh, playgrounds there. And oh, in the dark park, by the way, there's two separate fenced areas, one for bigger dogs and one for smaller dogs um, to include the, the dog beach. And there's a trail out there too. There's a lot of people that just go out there for a, a nice little stroll. Uh, I myself like to hop on my rollerblades and skate around the park too. Um, and then another park is for a little further down the road, downtown for Walton Beach, there's the for Walton Beach Landing. Um, that's also on the sound as well. There's lots of events and festivals that'll happen out there throughout the year. Um, there's also little restaurants and bars, um, little retail stores along the way too, uh, across from the for Walton Beach Landing for you to, to shop and maybe grab coffee or drinks or uh, little treats to take with you out to the park. And it is pet friendly as well, so you can bring your pets out there. It's just not, um, it's not uh, a dog park, I would say. You definitely have to keep your pets on a leash. There's no caged areas uh, for your pets to run free at uh, the Fort Walton Beach Landing. But that's a very, it's still very, a nice spot to go, um, especially 4th of July. They have a fireworks out there. Um, perfect view, because you can sit out on the lawn and just, uh, have a perfect view of the fireworks and there's boats out there too that you'll be able to see and um, if you are looking for um, another park where 
you just kind of want to go for a walk. You're not really worried about a uh, water view or playgrounds or anything. There's Oak Tree Nature Park in Mary Esther. Um, it's just a little trail you can walk through, um, kind of like you're walking through the woods. <laughs> I know this is for Walton Beach. Yes, we do have beautiful beach, but if you just, you're more into the nature, um, you know, trees and um, just hearing the birds and just want to just catch some fresh air, uh, Oak Tree Nature Park is another, another option as well. Um, now, as far as job opportunities in Fort Walton Beach, there, again, just like housing, there's something out there for everyone. Um, I do see a lot of places that are hiring, so it just really depends on what you're looking for, if you're needing to make, um, if your salary needs to be within a certain range for you to uh, have a de de decent living, <laughs> um, or if you just want something part-time as you're doing something else, maybe you already have a, another job, but you just want to find something to supplement. There's, there's a lot of opportunities around Fort Walton Beach. Um, whether you are looking for entry level um, or if you do have some formal training or a degree that'll help you um, get something a little bit higher. Um, there's there's lots lots to be on the lookout for in the Fort Walton Beach area. And even if it's not in Fort Walton, there's still the surrounding areas too that you can commute to uh, with no problem. Um, as far as employment, there's Niceville, Destin, Miramar Beach, there's Navarre. Um, there are some people that would go as far as Pensacola, <laughs> um, but depending on what it is, there are some people that might work remotely part-time and have to head into the office occasionally. As a Pensacola wouldn't be that bad. Uh, I mean, it's probably, depending on where in Pensacola and the time of day you're traveling, it could be up to an hour to get there from Fort Walton Beach. Um, but again, it's another option if you're looking for uh, the right job opportunity for you and um, different fields of work. I mean, there's, there's uh, retail, there's restaurants, there's um, healthcare, and um, there's a lot of local businesses too. So if you're looking to even start up your own business, for Walton Beach is a great place to to do that at because there's a lot of us, you know, a lot of locals love to support local business owners. Um, so if you're looking to get started on something, um, just look into that too and see if it's a good fit. See if you would have a competition out here in the Fort Walton Beach area before you look at starting a business here. And um, you probably already know because it's a well-known fact that there are a couple of military bases around Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Um, there's uh, Herbert Field Air Force Base and there's Eglin Air Force Base as well. Um, so there's a strong military presence here. So uh, if you are a military family or maybe you're a retiree, uh, this is a great area to be able to, you know, feel right at home. <laughs> um, you know, it's a, it's a military that brought my family here back in 1994. My father was in the Air Force. Um, so we, we moved here and this is where we settled. Uh, and I did leave for a little while after high school, but of course I circled right back around. I'm here to stay because uh, it's such a great area. Um, so there's a lot of people that do ask us about the military bases because they want to live somewhere that's close by, uh, close to military base. That way they can still utilize their, their benefits. Um, a lot of people still like to shop at the commissary or even um, use the facilities on base. Um, and there's people that uh, like to shop at the exchange as well. <laughs> so uh, you do have those two options here in the Fort Walton Beach area, um, Herbert, Herbert Field and Eglin Air Force Base. And of course, if you want to go down to Pensacola, there's a, a Navy base out there as well. Um, now, as far as the beach, I know a lot of people love the area because of the easy access to the beach. Um, there, That's just the biggest thing here too. There's Okaloosa Island uh, where lots of the uh, beachgoers would go to if they don't want to go all the way out to Destin. Um, Santa Rosa Boulevard, there's seven public beach access points. Um, so they, you know, it's a little park in, parking area, um, limited parking, and they do have um, restrooms and showers for you to use. Uh, before leaving the beach and taking all the sand into your your vehicle um, and then there's the boardwalk as well the boardwalk is awesome I mean it's grown so much since we first moved here in the 90s uh, but there's restaurants and um, you know little retails and ice cream uh, stores at, at the boardwalk and there's a playground out on the sand as well uh, volleyball nets there's just lots of things to do out there at the boardwalk instead of just unless you're just wanting to actually just go and sit on the beach you can do that as well of course um, and there's uh, John Beasley Park as well, um, just a little further past the, the boardwalk. Um, that's another public beach that you would be able to, to head out to. Um, it's a bigger parking area. I think there's over 200 parking spots there, last I read up on. Um, but the, again, there are so many options as far as getting to the beach out in for Walton. Um, if you are not wanting to head all the way out to Destin or there's even Navarre Beach close by or Pensacola Beach too.
Another um, thing that a lot of people ask about too before moving here, they want to ask about um, medical care facilities because you know there are some people unfortunately that do have health issues and they want to make sure that they're moving to an area where they can still continue to get the care that they need. Um, so there are um, a lot of facilities in, in the Fort Walton Beach area, specifically on the, the Marwalt Drive area. Um, there's the, the hospital, the main, the main hospital um, and other facilities along that same road, but even throughout town. Um, there's specialty, special care uh, uh, facilities around, and uh, if there isn't a specific place that you need, then the doctors would refer you out to the closest one nearby, most likely Pensacola. I know there's big hospitals out there like um, West Florida, and there's uh, Sacred Heart as well, and same thing at Destin. Um, there's uh, medical f care facilities out there as well. Um, but if there's anything specific that you're looking for, uh, let us know. That way we can look into that for you and just uh, try and help you find where those locations are and make sure that when you're choosing a, an area to move into that you are still within a, a close distance to the medical care that you're gonna need. And there's also assisted living facilities too. So if you're um, needing uh, assisted living care or if you have a loved one that um, needs nursing, uh, nursing assistance, uh, there's, also, there's the Meridian that's right across the street from the main hospital. Um, it's assisted living and independent living in the same building. Um, and there's Brickwood uh, Senior Living as well. Um, there are a couple I can't think of right at the top of my head. I should have did the research first, I know. <laughs> but um, that's just another thing that people ask about as well um, as far as the need for assisted living uh, for, for loved ones. And there are a lot of people that ask about the 55 and up uh, communities too. Um, I know there is a nice one out in the Panama City Beach area that's up and growing. It's called Latitude Margaritaville. Uh, that's an awesome 55 uh, plus community, um, but there's not really uh, too many options here around the, the Fort Walton Beach area. Well, that's some of the information that I wanted to share with you today as far as moving to Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Uh, if you have any questions or want to know uh, specifically more on certain things that I may have discussed or maybe something that I missed, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we'd love to still give you the information that you're looking for. Don't forget to like and share this video with anyone you know that may possibly be moving to the Fort Walton Beach area. Again, I'm Stephanie Bueno with the Whittemore Group at LPT Realty. I'll see you guys later. Bye.